Welcome back to the Fell Engine Project, where I'm building a 3.5 inch gauge live steam locomotive to my own drawings. On this episode, I machine the wheels from steel flat bar using the mill and lathe. I'm using steel flat bar for the wheels due to the availability of the material. There is plenty of discussion on the forums about steel versus cast iron for wheels, with cast iron having more grip, but I'm sure the steel will be more than sufficient. Start work over at the horizontal bandsaw, cutting the 80 by 12 steel flat bar into 80 millimeter squares. Once complete I head over to the mill using the 50 millimeter carbide insert face mill to machine a flat face. The steel flat bar had a slight curve in it which I wasn't expecting. It was then time to change the face mill for a drill chuck. Now it's time to drill a centre hole. For this I locate the centre of the part using the digital readout, then use a spotting drill to drill a centre mark, then drill an 11.5mm hole to suit a 12mm reamer. I'm using a 12mm machine reamer, which I coat well in cutting oil. The machine reamer is run at a low RPM and gently lowered through the part. For the next procedure, I'm going to use my Vertex 150mm rotary table along with an MT2 arbor that I've made with a 12mm centre to accurately align the part to the centre of the rotary table. I locate an 80mm flat bar square on the rotary table along with a sacrificial square below. I then load my ER32 collet chuck with 12mm roughing end mill. I then move the table sideways to set the diameter and then begin cutting the round blank. I do this in two 6mm passes. With the blank completed it's time to unbolt the part and head over to the lathe. I'm using my ER32 collet chuck today along with a specially made arbor to fit the center of my wheel blanks and ensure they've turned concentric with the bore. At this point I realized I'd made an error drilling the bore of my blanks with the scale facing down. This meant my machined face didn't reference to the bore, so I located the scale face against the arbor and remachined the previously milled face. This turned out to be a painless fix. Once I faced off the blank, I was left with a small centre I needed to remove. For this I used a sanding disc, limiting my sanding to the very centre, removing material to just below the face, meaning the outer edge would still reference to the face of the arbor. This worked but was what I was trying to avoid by facing the part in the mill. I'm working to a drawing I made with all the angles and dimensions marked for the profile. 
you will notice the spoke layout to the right of the drawing. We will get to this in the next episode, using the rotary table again. The part is once again loaded in the lathe, this time with the scale face facing out. I face the part and take it down to thickness. I turn the outer surface to bring it true with the bore, before stopping and measuring the outside diameter with the micrometer, which allows me to accurately set my digital readout before proceeding any further. Next I take it down to final diameter and cut the step for the flange. As I get close to final size, I check the diameter with a micrometer and repeat until I'm on final size. It's now time to set the top slide to the angle required for the wheel tread. Once the wheel tread is complete, I reset the top slide for the outside flange. Double check the flange thickness once I'm close to size and then use the lathe file for the curved corners. Then once again set the angle for the top slide, this time on the face of the wheel. The next angle to be cut is the inside flange at 5 degrees. With that complete, we can finally turn to cutting the relief in the inside of the wheel. For this I use a combination of left hand and right hand cutters. I use emery cloth to clean up the relief before removing it from the lathe. The final process is to clean up the centre using the same method as the other side. As I'm going to use the Loctite method for fixing my wheels to the axles, I was able to temporarily locate the wheels on the axles for a test fit. In the next episode, I'll be using the rotary table to cut the wheel spokes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and the subscribe button so you don't miss the next episode. Catch you next time.